Why not? Let's try this one out, okay? Mmm! That was actually kinda nice! That was kinda clean! Alright, so I accidentally bought all the Captain plugins, so we're going through every single plugin in that bundle. This is the third video in this series. We've already gone over the Captain Chords plugin and the Captain Melody plugin. And for the third time, this is the Captain Plugins Epic, so everything in here is the best version possible for these plugins. And today we're going to be going over the Captain Beat Epic plugin. So let's get started. And it is 92 degrees today in California, so I might need to take some fan breaks in between. And not going to lie to you guys, I was doing some testing right before this video, and I was really liking this melody loop right here. Very smooth and just very chill, very <laughs> calm, dare I say. All right, now I am gonna be slowing it down to 140. This is where my test brought earlier, so I'm gonna be doing that again, stretching it down to 140 BPM. All right, so I pulled out all the stems for this track right here. I am going to be muting the, the drums right here. It's because I don't want to be confused with what I'm doing inside of the plugin. All right, but now we can finally get started by going over here and getting Captain Beat Epic. Just by taking a quick look at the plugin, you can see we've already got a lot of samples loaded up in here, like a kick, a clap, snare, closed hat, open hat, shaker, ride cymbal, tambourine, and clap. So we've got a lot of samples loaded up immediately here. And by hitting the pencil tool over here, you can just start adding notes as you, as you please, like this. Get rid of you, put you like right there, actually. See if we, that sort of action, huh? I like that. Cool, yeah. So again, already getting started there. And now, for example, here, if I want to start doing a two-step hi-hat pattern for the closed hats, all I have to do is go over here and then hit snap to one-eighth, and that's as simple as just dragging it over like that. Oh my god, it's so hot. I'm already feeling the heat, guys. Like, it's already really bad. And they can start paying in your open hats if you want to also. Nice. Then add your shakers like that, maybe. I don't know. And I've made a mistake, so all I have to do is go over here to edit, drag it on over, and then hit delete. Now I want all of these to be copied on over to the next bar like that. Perfect, like it a lot. But now let's say I wanna layer something with that clap over there, make it a bit more punchy. Go over here to acoustic snare and then layer that with all of the claps as well. Now, one thing to mention for the snap though is that the, the clap right here is in between these two little lines right there, these uh, the snap to grids. In order to get there, you have to go back down to 1 16th and now I can finally place one right there. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's a very basic drum pattern here. Not that it's bad by any means, it's just, it's very basic. And one way to spice up any boring old drum pattern is going to be by adding effects, which we have loaded up in this plugin itself by going over two effects right here, which honestly, I've been experimenting with adding some delay to my kick, and uh, I've actually really been liking it. This has some like, texture in the background. And then maybe on those claps, we can go over here and add some reverb, maybe like arena, or no, actually, let's go to spring. Spring sounds good. And then maybe over here, some delay, but make that every eight. Adding a little bit more depth here now. We also have a filter over here, which you can probably use for the, um, what would we use a filter for here? Again, I don't really use a whole lot of filters in this case. I would use it like for like eight bars maybe, and then get rid of it. So I don't really want to have anything baked in with the filter on it. You know what, now seems like a good time for a fan break because I am absolutely dripping right now oh i can't describe to you guys just how good that feels like this feels really freaking good all right so we've gone through the edit and the pencil tool but we also have one other tab over here called magic record if i hover over snare right here going back to basic you can see the hot key is s so by hitting s the snare will pop up so i can hit this button right here and record all of my snares and like that or any other drum sample for that matter and then it gives you a note over here saying use spaceball to record spaceball nice great movie use spacebar to record and enter to save I actually want to do something different there. I don't want it to be a layer. I changed my mind. Almost. And then if you ever feel like something is a little bit too quiet, like I think that these snares are a bit too quiet. So I can go over to controls over here and we've got a volume button over here where it's going down like that. You can see it changes it and then we can go all the way up to plus six dB. And then also some panning as well, which could be kind of cool if you want that for like the clap or the snare over here, actually. I want that to be panned over to the left, I think. Yeah, that's good. All right, so that's a simple drum pattern here made with a few different features in this plugin, but we're nowhere near done yet. So we're gonna say screw this pattern altogether. We're gonna go to pattern 
And now we've got a whole bunch of different people over here. We've got the mixed and key official for like house, you know, something like this. You know, that sounds good, why not? But let's go down to right here and then want every half step. Much slower, much more the vibe for this one, I think. And let's say for example, this kick right here, we want that to be a little bit less attack because it's uh, it's kind of sharp, I think. We can go over here and then increase the attack. And now you can actually see it in the waveform. Which obviously that's a little bit too much, but it's actually a little bit too long of a kick. So let's go over here and we can actually shorten it right there. Same thing with decay too. And then even the pitch over here as well. But once again, with the acoustic snare right here and the regular snare right there, we can afford to pan some things more. But for the regular snare, I'm going to be doing it over here. Now here's the thing, right? In this drum pattern, I actually don't like this open hat right here. I just, I just don't. If I want to change that, going over to the basic tab, I can keep it over here. The rhythm is fine. That's all right. But now the sample itself, I can change it. But then also going over here, getting rid of the hold quite a bit actually. Nice, okay. And now I wanna add a crash. Let's try and do that, huh? Put that right there. That's really good, but we can still add some effects on there as well by going over here to the reverb and see how that sounds. Really good. Also wanna keep that a little bit more in the background by panning it. And the clouds are ever so tastefully in the background. I'm gonna be turning up the volume so you guys can start to hear it as I'm turning it up, okay? Which I actually don't like that two presence. I'm gonna go back down to like maybe just like 1.5 dB. I wanna add a ride symbol, I think. But as you can see right here, if I wanted to put this one also right here, it would immediately cut off this one right there. You can even see in the waveform that it's no longer playing there, which is good. I actually think that it's a good thing for that to happen, but I actually don't want that to happen. I think I want this only on the last snare, maybe? But I think that's all that I really have to do for this one. I don't want to do too much to it. We've got a lot more to cover in this plugin. So if you've already seen the other videos in this series, you would know that this plugin right here, I don't have any patterns laid down with the drums yet, but we can still hear everything. That's because it's playing everything that's inside of the plugin right here. In order to change that, we need to go over here to export master MIDI, put that on to the same plugin that we're using right now, and then untick play music from plugin. And now placing that pattern down there, the exact same pattern that we've had before. So that is one way to use it inside of your DAW, which I think is really versatile. So going over here, you can make this one unique. So I think these right here, the hi-hats, so you can go over here and just hit delete like that. And now they won't be there anymore. And then just create different patterns like that. Okay, but for right now, I'm done with this. Don't want it right now. Let's go over to a different beat right now. Maybe midnight? Let's try midnight, see if that works. All right, so I made this beat right here a few videos ago, actually. And I've got this one part in the entire beat with no drums right here. Got some texture down over there. And then the beat itself has a little bit of a snare on it, but that's pretty much it. So now we can go over here and add Captain Beat Epic and add a new drum pattern. Why not? Let's try this one out, okay? So going over here to export, I want just the master audio. I don't care about the MIDI. I don't care about the channel MIDI or anything like that. I want just the master audio. Going over here, putting it inside of my DAW. It's already synced up to the BPM. I can now close this. In fact, even delete it for right now because it's gonna be keep it's gonna keep on playing if I don't delete it now. Also, now that's on the mixture track, I can go over here and go to an EQ, rise up like that. was actually super fun and this is one way to use this as a bridge which is so much fun to do sounds like it's like in a club somewhere you know but with these
these melodies, it's so just like contrasty. All right, I'm saving that. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the, the project that we were currently on. And now let's actually make something out of this, okay? This beat is so much different than the one that we just went to. <laughs> but now in order to do something with this beat, all I have to do is go over here to export and I want channel audio. Put it right there for each and every single one of these tracks right now. It is going to take me a minute, which is a little bit unfortunate, but honestly, I think it'll be much worth it to do my mixing. But that's just to show you how you guys can uh, get different stemmed out audio tracks like this one. And now if you want to side chain your kick to your melody like normal, you can now do that. And anything else you want to do, if you want to add that reverb yourself to these snares or anything like that, you can totally do that. Compared to the last beat that we just like previewed, this one is so bland. <laughs> but I've got two more videos to record today. I'm recording three today total. So I'm going to move on to the next video and that's all that I've got for this one. So I'm much more of a drum focused producer, so I really enjoy making my own patterns here, but that does not mean that this plugin does not have its place. Like I showed you guys in the other beat, using this as a bridge or creating fills or anything like that, super, super versatile and will help you add a lot of variety to your track. So I'm going to finish this beat out right now. I'm going to mix it a little bit, not a whole lot, and then show you guys how it sounds. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.